Hey guys, so first of all, don't mind the way that I look. I'm kind of just relaxing around the house today and I've been working on my presentation for class on Tuesday about 24 hour urine collection. So I wanted to kind of tell you guys what I'm gonna present to my class on Tuesday. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, you will find out more information about what a 24 hour urine collection is used for, what it looks for in the urine, and how you would do it. So first of all, the supplies that you would need is a urine collection jug, a hat or a urinal. And for those of you who don't know, a hat is, if you've ever gone to the hospital or been in the hospital and they put like a, a little basin in the toilet, it's usually white or clear and it has like numbers, kind of like a measuring cup and it's put in the toilet and when you urinate, the urine will go into this hat. That's basically how you would do it um, if you were a female. Obviously for a male, you would have the urinal. And then um, this is a 24 hour urine collection jug. Um, this is done every few months for people who are on home dialysis, um, but it's also used for other purposes as well. But this is just, what a 24 hour urine collection jug looks like. Some of them look a little bit different, but this is the main gist of what they look like. So, um, now I do have note cards with a little bit of notes. This one isn't very much, but um, our entire presentation for the class on Tuesday, this is a group presentation. If I hadn't mentioned it to you guys before, I believe I did last week. Um, or when I was talking about last week's class and how it went. Um, so this is just to, this, these are just for me to practice with. I don't intend on using the note cards during class, but these are the main points of the procedure. The supplies are right here. And then this, this card shows like what they're testing for, the purposes of doing a 24 hour urine collection. And then on the bottom, there are certain foods or drinks that can affect the results of your 24 hour urine collection. So, um, I may look down a little bit, but for the most part, I have the gist of what you would do. So, on the morning of, the morning that you start your 24 hour urine collection, what you are going to want to do is urinate like normal. So, you're not going to put any of the urine into this collection jug for your very first one. Um, you're just gonna pee like you normally pee and then get rid of it, flush it, whatever. Um, and then after that, any urine for the rest of the day, you're going to collect either through the urinal or the hat and you're going to store it in this urine collection jug. Um, so that's every single time you urinate. And for depending on what your doctor is looking for when you do this this collection it's going to depend on like if they want you to avoid certain foods like I was telling you there's certain things that can affect the results of your test so they're gonna let you know that if you ever have to do a test like this um, but yeah anyways so another thing I almost forgot to say this is this your collection jug where you're gonna keep your urine, you're gonna to wanna to keep this refrigerated or in a cooler on ice because it has to stay cold until you bring it back to the lab. So up until the time that you bring this to the lab, it needs to be on ice or kept in the refrigerator. I know that might sound really gross, but that's how it has to be because if you don't keep it refrigerated, um, it can definitely skew the test results. Um, if you spill urine out of here, um, or like this comes off. So if you try to dump the urine in here and you spill it, that can also affect the results. Collecting um, urine outside of the 24 hours, like after the 24 hour period is over, that can also affect the results. Um, so the next morning, the next morning, your first urine of the day is going to be the last one that you're gonna put in here. So after that 24 hour period, no more. Don't collect any more urine, just pee like you normally do and get rid of it like you normally do. Um, 
after the 24 hours, like I said, if you collect more urine in here, it can skew the results of your test and you don't wanna do that because then you're probably gonna end up um, having to go through additional testing if it skews it in a wrong way or a bad way or your doctor could want you to repeat the test so then you'll have to go through this whole process from the very beginning all over again. Um, so then what is a 24 hour urine collection test for? Basically what it's testing for is, um, is testing how your kidneys are working, your kidney function. It is used to help diagnose kidney problems, kidney disease. Um, it also measures proteins, hormones, minerals, and other compounds that can be found in your urine. Um, and this part I don't have memorized yet, so I apologize, but some things that can affect the results of a 24-hour urine collection would be coffee, tea, cocoa, bananas, citrus fruits, and vanilla. So if your doctor is wanting you to um, look for certain things, they will tell you if they would like you to avoid like coffee or tea or something like that. They'll let you know that. Um, like I said, when you are on home dialysis, they do use these every three months, I believe it is, um, just in order to see like how much you're urinating, if you're still urinating, and they measure the proteins and all that other stuff that is in your urine, um, like creatinine and things like that. They check for those things. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, like I said, this is a group project, so that was just my part of the presentation. Um, Another girl in my class had urine cultures, and the other girl that was in my group had um, urine drug testing and urine pregnancy testing. So I'm gonna probably make a few note cards about those two tests, just in case either one of those girls don't show up. Um, then I can look um, and present the whole thing. I'm hopefully not gonna have to do that, but you never know because it is a group project presentation and you know how those things go. But anyways, I hope you guys found my presentation informative and helpful. And if you guys are enjoying these phlebotomy training vlogs, um, please let me know. I definitely enjoy sharing the information with you. It's been a very interesting ride through this class and we have five more classes to go. So five more class sessions. And the fifth class session is actually our national certification test, and that's it. There's no like lecture or anything that day. We might review a little bit before we take the test. I'm not exactly sure, but from, from what I'm understanding, we're taking the test and that is it. Um, I'll let you guys know as we get sooner, sooner, closer to that date. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Wish me luck on my presentation on Tuesday. Today is Sunday. Um, so I am a little bit nervous. I hate talking in front of people, which I'm sure you don't get that vibe from me because I'm constantly talking um, and sharing things on my channel. But um, yeah, <laughs> I am a little nervous. I hate talking like face to face in front of a group of people, but um, I know I'm not the only one. So anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I will continue to share. Um, presentations are on Tuesday, so I'll let you know how it goes um, after class on Tuesday. So stay tuned, and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.